Hey friends, it's Cassie with Ice Coffee and Books, and today we are going to be doing something so fun. I I saw this idea on Instagram. I'll make sure to uh, share it. But um, this lady did this thing called a book crawl where basically she roped her husband into taking her to a bunch of different bookstores and she got a bunch of books. And I'm like, this sounds like a perfect idea. So I convinced my husband, we're gonna be packing up the baby and hitting a bunch of bookstores in my area. We're gonna be going to like big ones like Barnes and Noble and then like some smaller bookstores as well. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So come along. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. Barnes and Noble. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Why are you making me nervous? Mm. Hey guys, we just left Barnes and Noble and I didn't find any books there because I'm trying to be responsible with my TBR, but it was a great way to end my bar call day and I'll make sure to show you guys all the books that I got. Hey guys, it's the next day and I figured I would go over all the books. I was too tired last night so I got back from Barnes and Noble. So I got, well one, look at this cute bag. I feel like I'm definitely going to reuse it. Um, I didn't end up getting anything at Barnes & Noble. I just didn't really see anything that I wanted. I was kind of looking for the first book of the Crescent City, but they didn't have it in, of course. So I'm probably gonna have to buy that one on Facebook because I definitely need to read that before the second one comes out in February. But I did pick up some cute books. I got The Witchwood. She is the author of the Shatter Me series. So I got this and it's like a spinoff of the, her first book, Furthermore. So I'm excited to read this one. And plus like this cover is stunning. It is so gorgeous. And then I got Cinder, which I am so excited. I have not read this series at all. So 
I got it for $4. It's in really good condition and I am excited to give this series a try. If I like it, I'll make sure to pick up the other ones. And then I got uh, The Hunger Games and uh, Mockingjay because when I read these back in like, I don't know, gosh, it was either high school or middle school, I read these and I read them from the library, so I actually never owned them. So now I have uh, Catching Fire, then I have The Hunger Games and Mockingjay. So that is good. Does it bother you guys like when your books are uneven or if you have like a paperback and a hardback and they're all like mixed together in a series? I don't really tend to mind. I kind of like the uh, like eclectic look, so I think it looks more interesting. But there is something to be said about like a set of all matching books, so yes. But I had so much fun doing this little book crawl. I ended up going to three places. It was like a lot of fun. I'm really hoping to do this again in the future. I love supporting local bookstores. There's not that many in my area. The only one I didn't get to was one out um, in a different city. And it's only like 20 minutes away, but my daughter did not have the um, emotional capacity to continue going. So the next time I do one of these, I'll definitely hit that one first and then maybe re-hit these ones again. Thanks for coming along on this short little book crawl vlog. I hope to do more of these in the future. Make sure to like this video and hug the subscribe button and go follow me over at Ice Coffee and Books on Instagram and TikTok. I'm over there every day posting something new. So give me a follow over there and I will see you on Friday.